Hi everyone, my name is King IV, and this is Introduction to Enterprise Guide. In this lesson, we're going to be focusing on some basic tasks that I find that are pretty useful and commonly used when you're using Enterprise Guide. So if you haven't checked out the previous lesson in importing data and the lesson before that, what is Enterprise Guide? I'd recommend that you watch those because we're going to build off them. So let's, let's open up Enterprise Guide. This is right after we've done lesson two. So we have a bunch of these different data sets. So let's go ahead and double click into this cars data set. So in this cars data set, perhaps I only want to see data from from SUVs, for example, and I want the data sorted by MSRP, where I have the highest MSRP at the top and the lowest MSRP at the bottom. So how can we do that? So one task that we're going to do here is either you can go to tasks, go to data here, or you can go to the, the shortcut here. So here we're going to click on this shortcut. And then you're going to see a bunch of different options here. So here you can, in this case, we're going to include all the data sets, but you can change it, change the labels if you want. Uh, if you want to remove one, say for example, we want to remove out drivetrain, we could do that. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it. Next thing I want to do here is I want to go to this filter tab. And then what I want to do here is I want to select, in this case, I want it to be type. And there's a whole bunch of different options here. So we can select in a list, which is pretty useful as well. So here we can add values and we can click on SUV. You can add more than one value if you want to, or we can go like that, or we can go equal to, and then we can type in SUV. As an example, we can validate it if we want. When we click on validate, it will show us the, the code that it's producing. So in this case, it's using a, a where condition with type. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, you can take a look down here. We can do a whole bunch of different options that are available. So if you, if you want to use an in function, you could use that as well. And there's a whole bunch of different options. Not equal, less than, greater than, contains, is missing, in between, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And as well, you can add a couple more conditions you want to. So for example, if we wanted to add in, let's just go to origin and let's go in a list. And let's say, for example, we want Asia. Oh, sorry, not equal to. We can go in a list and then we can add multiple values here. So here we can add Asia and the US. Press OK. And then if we go to validate we can take a look at the code here so you'll see here they have uh, this in condition where it'll list out Asia and US so again if you know base SAS you're gonna be pretty familiar if we want to remove it you can click on this X but that looks pretty good the last thing we want to do here is well maybe second last thing is we want to go on MSRP I want to sort that by descending and we can add in additional ones if you want to for example maybe we want to sort by invoice amount next and let's say weight ascending so descending means start highest to lowest and ascending means lowest to highest and then here you can rename your task if you want to so for example you can say filtering for SUVs in Asia and in US, USA. And then here you can change the name if you want to or change the library it's saved to. In this case, it's saved to the work library. So if you know base SAS, you know that's the only the, the temporary library uh, in your data set that only exists while this session is open. So here we can say, uh, we can call this SUV Asia USA. And now we have our data set that contains only SUVs, only ones in Asia and the US, and sorted by MSRP, and then sorted by invoice. So you can see there was, I don't know if we're going to find a tie, but if there was one, it would sort by MSRP, then sort by invoice. So that's, that's pretty handy. So if you want to, if you felt that you did something wrong, you can click on this modify task, and then it's going to take all the settings that you have here and then uh, allow you to change or adjust them uh, as you see fit. So again, filter and sort, really neat. 
pretty pretty useful, especially if you want to subset your data. So if we go here and uh, say, for example, but we maybe we don't want to do a filter and sort. Maybe I just want to do a sort. In this case, you could do just do a sort, but maybe I want to get rid of uh, duplicate records or consider getting rid of duplicate records. So here I can go to data, sort, sort, and you're going to see that there's going to be some options here. So you can say sort by, let's say MSRP. I'm going to sort descending columns to drop. So if I want to drop a column, so say for example, I want to drop drivetrain. This is going to look pretty similar or this, this terminology is going to sound similar if you know base SAS where you can drop uh, or, or add variables. So here options, we don't need to worry so much about that. Uh, duplicate records. So you can keep all records, keep only, only the first record of each sorted group. So if, for example, I only wanted where there was MSRP, uh, or each, actually let's go, let's do a different one. Let's do something like, I think that'll make it a little bit more obvious. Let's go to model, for example. Let's just remove this one. And if I go keep only the records in the uh, first record for each sorted, when I run into the same uh, model, it will only keep one record of that model. Or do not keep uh, adjacent duplicate records. So if the rows are exactly the same, so you can see in this description, then it will remove the, the data. So these are these are important options and could be useful depending on what you want to do. So here you can rename it. So let's call this uh, um, model unique sorted. And then here I don't want to save it locally, duplicate it. Um, we can edit some options here if we wanted to. So you can re re rename it, label, change all these different options uh, where applicable. But in this case, I'm just going to run it. So I actually don't know if there's any duplicated ones. Actually, no, there is. So there's 425 here. If I go to the original data set, you'll see here there are 428. So there must have been three uh, duplicated ones. And we can uh, check which ones are, are duplicated uh, when we get to a future future lesson. But you can see that's it's pretty useful again with the with the duplicate checks uh, in addition to the sort, which you won't find in the filter and sort. So it is useful to know uh, the sort function. So here, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to click on data. Oh, no, sorry, we're going to click on describe, and we're going to go list data. So list data is really useful for creating uh, additional reports. So for example, here, if I want to, if I didn't want all, all the columns in the data set, I can add things like make, model, maybe I don't want origin, maybe I don't want type, maybe I want MSRP and invoice and uh, engine size, and then I want to group it by uh, cylinder. So how many cylinders are, in this case, I'll put it ascending. I can put totals if I wanted to, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it. Um, you don't you can change the heading directions change some of the formatting, but again, you can modify that Afterwards, so let's let's not use the default one so let's call this uh, uh, Car cars data set by cylinders and Then you can click on here and change some additional information, but we're just gonna go ahead and run this so you're going to see here, these are by the, the different cylinders. It probably make more sense if I added cylinders to do this. So I'm going to add cylinders. Let's go ahead and run that. So you can see here, this is where cylinders wasn't provided. Uh, this is cylinders three, four, six, eight. And you can see all these different fields. So this is really useful for for breaking out reports or including just the data that you want to to limit the processing size of, of your data. Okay, so that's all we're going to cover in this lesson. Uh, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.